They say when you try attracting everyone, you end up attracting no one. And there is a lot of truth in that quote. And great value can be found when you narrow down your niche and become very targeted in your marketing, especially when you're hanging out on LinkedIn. But what if you serve two different audiences? Can you still become that targeted in your LinkedIn presence? The answer, my friend, is yes. When you are wearing two or more different hats, you still can create clarity with your LinkedIn profile. And that's what we're talking about today. So stick around. Hey everyone, it's Leanne. And when I started my coaching business a couple of years ago, I had some really tough decisions to make. I was still an associate of my firm working in the meetings and events industry, but I also wanted to start talking to my new audience of coaching and training clients through my LinkedIn presence. And so an overhaul of my LinkedIn profile was in order. But to ensure that I created clarity for both audiences, I needed to be very careful in how I positioned myself in my LinkedIn profile. Perhaps you find yourself in a similar situation. Whether you're wearing two or more different employment hats, or maybe you're multi-passionate in other areas, including your volunteer work or some passion projects, we want to be able to communicate all of those things to our different audiences so that when they land on our LinkedIn profile, they know that they're in the right place. So we're going to look at how we can do that with our LinkedIn profiles today. But before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel and click on the little bell to be notified of new videos. I create videos around LinkedIn and personal branding specifically for the meetings, events, and hospitality industry, and I'd love to ensure that you have an opportunity to see those videos. Thanks. Before we look at how we can set up our profile so that it speaks to two different audiences, Let's take a look at some common examples from the hospitality industry where you might find yourself wearing two different hats or speaking to diff two different types of people. The most common example is when you're serving two or more different markets within your one rule. Each of these markets have different personalities and so we want to be able to position our profile so that each of those individuals in those different markets still know that you are the right person to work with on their business. The second most common example is when we're looking for new job opportunities within our same organization. You may be very happy with your current organization, but looking to climb the corporate ladder or try a different role within the same company. There are ways that we can position your LinkedIn profile to showcase your strengths and your readiness to take on new roles and responsibilities all while serving your current clientele. Or perhaps you're looking for a new role at a different company, but still within the same industry. There are ways that we can retain the integrity of your LinkedIn profile. You may be open to these opportunities, but still be employed by a current organization. So let's look at ways to showcase your strengths and attract recruiters while still serving your current organization and your clients. If you're looking to leave the industry altogether, this is something we've seen a lot of the last couple of years, and you can position your profile as well. So stick with us as we talk about how we can do that when you're looking for roles outside of the hospitality industry. And finally, maybe you're looking to be a stronger thought leader in our industry, all the while still serving your organization and your clients. As we develop our personal brands, you might want to create an inbound marketing strategy that attracts both clients, but also other industry thought leaders. There are ways that we can adapt our profile so that both of those audiences are taking a look at what we're doing. Let's look at some of the most common LinkedIn sections on your profile that we should start to target as we look at serving two different audiences. The first one is your banner. This is the large visual representation at the top of your profile. When you're speaking to two different audiences, ensure that your banner speaks to only one audience at a time or has content that resonates with all your audiences or make sure that your banner 
has a clear delineation between the two audiences. If your banner has two competing images on the banner, it can create confusion. And one of the things we're trying to do with our banner is ensure that people know that they are in the right place. So when you're serving two different audiences, make sure that your banner is very clear. The best place to show where you serve two audiences is in your headline. You can do this very quickly and efficiently in a limited number of characters below your name. You can highlight what you do and how you help to a number of different audiences, and then you can go on and expand on your service offerings in your summary. When you hit your summary, this is what gives us a lot of real estate to break down how it is we serve each individual audience. Call out your audiences by naming them and being clear on how you help them. Your audience members will know that they're in the right place when they see their job title or their job description featured in your summary section. Use simple carriage returns, emojis, or other visual breaks to help each audience find their place quickly in your summary's text. Also look to beef up your featured section. The featured section is a great place where you can include assets for each individual audience. When they find a resource that speaks to them within your featured section, they will know that they're in the right place. And finally, in your work experience section, there is lots of opportunity for you to break down how it is you serve each individual audience. You can even create additional job titles to show what it is that you do for your current organization as it breaks down to the different audiences themselves. Once again, if you use your client's job title or their job description, they'll know that they're in the right place when they can identify it in your work experience section. Let's talk a little bit about what you can do when your other hat is seeking employment when you're at a current organization. We don't wanna raise any red flags when we're looking for these job opportunities, but we still want to romance those recruiters or other organizations with our LinkedIn profile. So how can we do that? First and foremost, focus on the skills that are transferable to other jobs or other industries. You can focus on those skills in your summary section, your job description, even your headline if you have some room. Also ensure your profile focuses on loving up your clients and loving up your organization. Any potential job recruiter is looking for someone that'll be a good fit to help serve their organization. And by showcasing your ability to attract clients through LinkedIn, they'll see someone who can do the same for that new organization. Another effective strategy is start to connect with those that can affect your future employment, be it organizations, recruiters, potential supervisors, or even potential colleagues at your next organization. Consider connecting with them and following their content so that you can start to engage with them and they start to see you on their radar. Are you looking for additional ways to level up your LinkedIn game without spending hours and hours on the platform? Consider my upcoming webinar, Three Ways to Level Up Your LinkedIn Game Fast. We're discovering the low-hanging fruit on LinkedIn that will help take you and your business and your brand to the next level. Go to leannecalderwood.com forward slash masterclass to find the class time that best fits your schedule. If your LinkedIn profile is a great example of how you are serving two audiences and creating clarity for both, connect with me directly on LinkedIn and let's take a look at your incredible profile. Friends, whatever your LinkedIn strategy, I wish you all the best this upcoming year in building your leads and growing your personal brand using LinkedIn. Stay in touch. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.